Hello, hello. Welcome to the Inklings with Irina show, a weekly show where I help you set your frequency and turn into a higher vibes or tune into higher vibes. Holy cannoli. I'm definitely all tongues today. <laughs> <laughs> like all thumbs. Uh, today I'm going to share with you a very special practice that always surprises my clients, especially when imposter syndrome hits. There's this wall we come up against. You know that you're an expert, that you have information and ideas, but something just trips you up and you're not quite sure what it is or what to do. Hi Mary, thanks for joining. So as you guys jump on live, Give me a quick little emoji and let me know that you're here. So imposter syndrome, holy cannoli, that's so frustrating when it hits. And by the way, if we haven't met yet, my name is Irina Miller. I'm an intuitive energy coach with a background in decision sciences and management information systems. And I help women connect to their innate intuitive powers to help them make better business decisions and life decisions faster. Everything from which home to invest in, to when to launch a program, where to host a retreat, or heck, even to recognize when old patterns and habits like imposter syndrome creep up and they block you from really and truly reaching your fullest potential and following your heart's calling. So this exercise is one of my favorites. It's an opportunity for us to say, you know what, I'm gonna shed the layers of the world. I'm gonna shed all of those ideas and labels that are placed on me, those moments where I put myself up against another person, right? That comparison trap. And I'm going to connect to this innate light within. And you're gonna, in this little exercise, it's a visualization, I'm gonna guide you through it, connect to your own inner expertise, your unique gift. I love it, um, that old movie about the penguins. Can you remember that? I'm trying to remember, Nicole Kidman was one of the voices in Hugh Jackman, it'll come to me, but they used to have that heart song that they would do. They'd sing it from their tummies and each little penguin had their own unique heart song and the main little character is having troubles finding his voice. It can happen sometimes and this visualization will help you find your energetic voice, connect to your innate unique gift and allow you to shine that in the world. Hello Deanna, thanks for joining. So for this visualization to connect to your heart song, I'm going to invite you to take a comfortable seat or stance. And now notice as I say heart song, I keep touching my upper tummy <laughs> because often our heart, right, can be in our stomach. We can think of those old phrases like the fastest way to a person's heart is through their tummy. <laughs> Definitely mine. <laughs> we have that heart in our tummy, that gut instinct. So for this, I invite you to close your eyes and just take a few deep breaths. As you take these deep breaths, invite Mother Earth to lovingly reach up and hold on to your feet, your calves. And as you have this vision of Mother Earth, whether it's through beautiful little tendrils or vines anchoring you to the earth, welcome a deep breath. And as you welcome that deep breath, I want you to visualize and imagine a beautiful golden ball of light in the upper part of the belly. Now this is right around the diaphragm, so beneath the chest, above the third energy center, a little space there in the diaphragm. And whatever size this golden ball of light is to you, you just recognize it. You say, ah, oh, all right. Maybe it's the size of a golf ball, the size of a soft ball. Maybe it's tiny, like a little penny. You just say hello to it. Hmm. And then I want you to imagine, just like in a dining room, you might have a dimmer switch. And very slowly, you're gonna reach for that dimmer switch and you're gonna slide it up a little bit so that the light within you starts to radiate and it illuminates your whole body out to the edges as if you were glowing. And you just notice how this feels. Hmm. And then slide the dimmer switch up a little bit more so that that light within you radiates out to fill the edges of your room. And you notice how easy is it to slide that dimmer switch up, to visualize, to imagine the light that emanates from your upper belly lighting up the whole room. And then slide the dimmer switch up a little bit more so that the light within you fills up your entire house, 
Maybe it starts to reach to the edges of your neighborhood. Can you even slide it up a little bit more so that this light within you reaches to the edges of your city? Notice if you run into any resistance, any difficulty imagining or visualizing. And it's okay, we're just becoming aware. We wanna know where is the point where we get stuck. And then slowly slide that dimmer switch up even a little bit more so that the light within you reaches out to the edges of your state. All the way maybe to the edges of your country, maybe beyond to a global level, and maybe even beyond our atmosphere and into space. And just say hello. This is you taking a moment to recognize your innate gifts, those wonderful gifts that you were given by God, by source, by universe. By recognizing these gifts, it's really and truly an honor it's us showing great respect and gratitude for the gifts that we've been given and saying, you know what, I'm gonna share this to make the world a better place. My mom used to talk this way all the time about the gift that she was given through her voice. She was a wonderful, amazing singer. And she would sing to honor the gift that she was given. And if she didn't feel, if she wasn't singing, she felt like she wasn't showing her gratitude for that gift. So whatever you've been blessed with, your own unique gift, take a moment to stand in it and allow yourself to be bathed saying, all right, God, you know, all right, universe, I recognize this gift, thank you. And then slide the dimmer switch back down to that place that feels really comfortable for you right now. Maybe it's just, you know, to a country level, state level, or maybe even just your room or simply yourself. And with your gaze towards the floor, Slowly, slowly open the eyes. So how are you feeling? Let me know if you had one particular area where you felt really good lighting up. Did you feel good lighting up your room? Or maybe even to the edges of the atmosphere out into outer space like a star sending its light off to other planets and galaxies. <laughs> And then from here, if you want to learn more exercises like this to release the imposter syndrome, to let go of the old energetic patterns that are keeping you stuck from recognizing your innate gift. And if you did run into resistance at one of those levels, it's a sign that, hmm, you know, I need to pay attention here. There's more room for me to play and explore some of the other energetic levels. You're gonna to wanna to join me tomorrow right here on this page at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time where I am teaching a deep dive masterclass all into the third chakra. So our courage, our confidence, our self-esteem, our ability to stand in our power and stand up for ourselves. It's gonna be a wonderful class full of many more exercises like this if you want to register for reminders, I will put a little link in the comments above and simply click on that and it'll set you up so you'll be reminded before I go live. Have a great day and I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks for playing guys. Bye.